I'm Henry. And I'm Irene. And we're Brainstorm Makers. And we have a gopher problem. Now we didn't have a gopher problem when we started. I'd never even seen a gopher here. We had gophers in California, but we did not have gopher here. And then we built a garden. And there's that old thing, if you build it, they will come. And they came. They did. <laughs> We've had a fair number of questions about the tool that we use to put the bait into the gopher runs. So we thought we'd go ahead and share that with you on this three minute Thursday. They call it a gopher mold bait applicator. Uh, this is a reservoir in here. You have a little nut that comes off the top and you actually put the bait in here and then you put the lid back on. The way you control it is, this is hollow, it's just a pipe. At the bottom, there's a hole. And when you turn this thing at the top, it actually spins a spiral thing at the, on the inside and causes the bait to fall out. I managed to hear a uh, radio program by a guy who owns a uh, garden center. And he was talking about having trouble with gophers in his yard and how awful he felt because he accidentally poisoned the family cat. He used a strychnine based poison to go after his gophers and one of his cats found one of the mice and ate it and it killed the cat. So he came across this other poison which is a zinc based poison and it has to be put underground but once it's underground it's pretty darn safe for everybody except the gophers and mice. This bait applicator is a really cool tool. It's simple to use you need to keep the bait dry because if it gets wet the zinc phosphide will decompose and it won't be any good. And I always keep it closed so that nothing's falling out of it for anybody to get into. So thanks for watching. I hope you don't have any gopher problems. I sure wish we didn't have them. I hope your garden bears fruit for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.